What's up YouTube, Hood Squirrel here. I got a treat for you guys. I made a Sableye EX and a Mega Sableye EX. I'm gonna show you guys it real quick. These guys came out absolutely amazing. Amazing then for you guys. Look at that. Had so much fun with this card. Shout outs to Iona the Sinister for creating this amazing artwork. It's pretty cool looking, you know, he's just chewing on a heart-shaped ruby. Looks pretty nice. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and read you guys' his moves. Uh, his ability, Quick Forage. When you play Mega Sableye EX from your hand to evolve this Pokemon, before it evolves, you may choose two cards in your discard pile and add them to your hand. And then his attack reads, Hand Screen, does 30 damage, takes one Dark Energy. Look at your opponent's hand. You may use the effect of a supporter card you find there as the effect of this attack. Discard that supporter card afterwards. So yeah, pretty fun card I would say. Uh, he only has 160 HP, so he's pretty easy to knock out. The good thing about him though is that he has no weakness, which is pretty fantastic. Um, so pretty much my you know thought behind this card was to make him pretty annoying, you know, have an effect where he could kind of discard your opponent's hand in a certain sense, um, kind of use their resources, uh, etc, etc. Um, and then also give them an effect similar to, you know, let's say Mega Alakazam, or Alakazam I should say, where if you evolve into Mega Sableye, he could pick up, you know, two cards from his discard pile, or the player's discard pile. You know, it works pretty good with, um, you know, energy dis removal, stuff like that. You could kind of you know, kind of spam this in a certain sense if you have Devolution Spray or whatever. Yeah, this card seems pretty fun. Let me show you guys what Mega Sableye EX does. I kind of made Mega Sableye sort of similar. Um, in the fact that he could be really annoying, except he's a little more defensive. This card came out really good too. Really nice hollow on this. It kind of reminds me of the Mega Bandit and Bandit EX I created a couple months ago. Once so, again, guys, these cards that I make that are custom, I use regular, you know, Pokemon cards. I don't. It's not. It's not a fake back. It's an actual Pokemon card back. Um, it's slightly thinner or thicker, I should say. It's definitely glossy compared to the matte that you know regular full out cards have you can't feel the texture it's completely shiny completely glossy it still has that really nice effect this card it just looks amazing to be honest absolutely amazing okay so real quick his ability it's really hard to see kind of but it says magic bounce or his ancient trait whatever you want to call it uh, it says, any special condition applied to this Pokemon by your opponent is also applied to your opponent's active Pokemon. Um, so basically, not only if you get you know, a status condition from one of your opponent's Pokemon's attacks, but also if your opponent does like a Hypnotoxic Laser or something like that, your opponent's active Pokemon also gets the same special condition that Mega Sableye is receiving as well. So that's pretty cool. I thought it was a... Uh, nifty little ability to have and it's kind of similar to what he has in the game so that's pretty cool and he has <coughs> excuse me he has an attack gem barrier takes two dark energies does 90 damage it reads during your opponent's turn if mega sable iex is damaged by an attack exceeding 100 damage before applying weakness and resistance that attack now does 10 damage instead um I mean, basically, in other words, if he does his move, pretty much he's not going to get one hit KO'd. He has no weakness. So, yeah, he's he's kind of like a tank in a certain sense. You know, the only thing that would kill him is, uh, you know, Lissandering him out or doing, what's the name of that card? Pokemon Trainer or whatever it's called. The one that nullifies attack abilities or effects. So, yeah, that would definitely counter this. Um, pretty much besides that, it's pretty, pretty good. I think he's balanced. I don't know if you guys think he's not balanced or if you think he's, you know, OP or under power, just, you know, leave a message in the comment, please. Um, I actually use these to play with friends, so I'm trying to make them as balanced as possible while still, you know, making them as unique as possible. Yeah, this card is really fun. It looks really nice. Probably, 
I don't know, next to the Mega Garchomp and Nate, this is probably like my second favorite because of how nice it looks. It looks amazing. Once again, the artwork from this was by Tails19950. Thank you so much for making this amazing art. Um, and also, guys, all these templates, um, they're made from the same person. Hold on, let me look that up real quick. So I don't forget. Uh, templates, templates. Right. Uh, his name is Ashfield101. He's the one who creates these templates. Saves me a lot of trouble, a lot of work. Thanks again to you. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to show you all my Sable EX and Mega Sable EXs. Uh, I'm currently working on a. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but I'm working on a Mega Salamence EX. Um, it's pretty cool. I think I'm not entirely done yet. Still have a couple things to do before I finish them off. So yeah, that, that should be pretty fun. Um, also gonna have a giveaway once I reach 50 subscribers. I'll be giving away to one person two of any one of my custom made cards to them. Um, so yeah, hopefully, you know, whenever I get to 50 subs, I'll be able to pick someone at random and give them two of my custom made cards. Should be pretty fun. But yeah, that's it guys. Uh, probably Thursday or Friday I'll have another video on the Salamence and Mega Salamence EX custom full cards. If you guys want to like my page or subscribe to my YouTube channel, you guys can go ahead. You'll be notified the second that goes up. Yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, see you guys in a couple days with that, alright? Peace.